Imagine for a moment the most powerful office in the world being held by someone with no regard for the rule of law. Someone who admires dictators and dreams of ruling like one. Sounds like a thriller novel, right? Well, according to John Kelly, Donald Trump's longest serving chief of staff, that nightmare scenario might not be far from reality. Today we are delving into the shocking revelations from Kelly's interviews with the New York Times and discussing why with just days to the 2024 US elections this warning has everyone talking in the final days leading up to this election john kelly a decorated marine general and former white house chief of staff decided it was time to speak out but this wasn't just another political jab it was a direct alarming message to the american people about who donald trump truly is behind closed doors and why kelly believes a second trump presidency could lead to something far more dangerous an authoritarian rule kelly describes trump as a man who meets the definition of a fascist someone who would someone who would rule like a dictator if allowed but what does that mean let's break it down kelly didn't reach this conclusion lightly he worked side by side with trump for over 18 months watching his every move hearing his private thoughts in those tumultuous month in those tumultuous months kelly witnessed behaviors that deeply troubled him let me tell you one of the stories that really paints the picture here kelly recalls a moment when trump openly admired dictators he would talk about them with sense of admiration kelly said trump would say things like they can get things done referring to leaders like kim jong un and vladimir putin and it wasn't just idle talk trump repeatedly expressed frustration that unlike these dictators he didn't have absolute control kelly's concern grew when trump began discussing the possibility of using the us military against his own citizens yes you heard that right in one chilling exchange trump floated the idea of deploying troops against what he called the enemy within his political opponents kelly a man who dedicated his life to protecting the constitution was horrified This wasn't the first time Trump flirted with using military power domestically. Remember, when protesters were tear gassed near the White House for Trump's photo op at St. John's Church in 2020? According to Kelly, that was just the beginning. But there's more. In his interviews, Kelly confirmed some of the most shocking stories we have heard about Trump. Stories that, frankly, are hard to believe. Until you hear them from someone who was there, let's talk about Trump's comments on veterans. Trump is known for his disdain for Senator John McCain, famously calling him a loser for being captured during the Vietnam War. But Kelly says it goes much deeper. Trump repeatedly referred to Americans who were wounded or killed in combat as losers and suckers. During a trip to Paris, Trump refused to visit a cemetery which American soldiers During a trip to Paris, Trump refused to visit a cemetery where American soldiers who died in World War 1 were buried, saying, "Why should I go to that cemetery? It's filled with losers." Kelly, whose own son was killed in Afghanistan, was appalled. On Memorial Day in 2017, they visited Arlington National Cemetery, walking through rows of graves of service members who had died in defense of their country. Trump turned to Kelly and asked, "What's in it for them? Let that sink in. What's in it for them? For Trump?" everything seems to boil down to personal gain loyalty to him and him alone this wasn't just about trump's disrespect for the military though that alone is disturbing enough according to kelly trump had a fundamental misunderstanding of what it meant to serve as president he didn't see the role as one bound by law or traditional responsibility to the people no for trump <coughs> being president was about power total and unchecked <coughs> He prefers the dictator approach, Kelly said, and was frustrated by the checks on his power. Time and time again, Trump would ask, "Why couldn't he just do what he wanted? Why couldn't he order the military to do his bidding or fire someone without due process?" <clears throat> But Kelly's warning isn't just about what Trump said or even how he acted in the Oval Office. It's about what Trump could do if re-elected. <clears throat> in Kelly's view. Trump has no understanding of the constitution and cares even less about upholding it. His desire for absolute control whether it's suppressing political opponents, dismantling democratic institutions, 
or using the military against his own people poses a serious threat to the American democracy. And let's not forget the personal loyalty Trump demands. Kelly described how, in their early days together, he had to explain that government officials take on oath to the Constitution and not to the President. Trump was baffled. He couldn't comprehend why someone wouldn't put loyalty to him above all else. This, Kelly said, was a new concept for Trump and one he never fully accepted. In fact, Trump's obsession with loyalty led to constant turnover in his administration. As soon as someone questioned his decisions or showed a shred of independence, they were out of favor, sidelined or fired. And this isn't just limited to his time in office. Trump's current campaign is built on the same principle. He surrounded himself with those who will follow him without question, and that is exactly why Kelly is speaking out now. Before we wrap this up, let's revisit the most troubling part of Kelly's warning. He says, Trump's recent comments about using the military against domestic opponents are deeply dangerous. Kelly made it clear that even in office, Trump was repeatedly told why he couldn't do this, why using the US military inside the country to suppress political opposition was a line that should never be crossed. Yet, Trump continues to push that boundary. Kelly, a man who spent his life defending the nation from foreign threats, now sees a domestic threat in the very man who once held the presidency. So what do we take from all this? As we head into this election, John Kelly's words offer more than just a warning. They offer a choice, a choice between democracy with all its flaws and checks, or a future where one man's pursuit of absolute power could unravel it all. Kelly isn't endorsing any candidate, but he's asking us to think deeply about the type of leader we choose. I leave you with this. What kind of America do you guys want in the next four years? One ruled by laws or one ruled by would-be dictator? And thanks for listening. If you found today's episode enlightening, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. Stay informed, stay engaged, and remember, your vote shapes the future.